Oh. Hello everybody, happy Tuesday! It's March 19th, 2019. You're with the CCR Free Show Navigator this uh, week. Listen to, uh, again, uh, uh, my go-to, Himiko Kikuchi. We're listening to her woman album. Ooh. Ooh. Hello everybody. How's it going? Oh my goodness. What a day. What a day. Oh, it's been time. Oh, we just had a shoot. Um... Uh, it was maybe an hour or two ago. We had um, uh, some we were shooting some scamination stuff, and we got a lot of good a lot of good videos out. And we're also trying to squeeze in a bunch more tomorrow. So, uh, but but it'd be good. Uh, everyone's friend, uh, Diamond Jim Tyler, was there, and uh, so we will. Uh, uh, th- those will be coming out soon uh, on scamination. So if you're not already um, subscribed. Please do. Please check it out. Check out how magic works. But hello, everybody. It's March. It is, uh... It's March. It's the beginning. We sh- it's, it's starting to get warm here in Texas. Uh, it was it was a nice 70 degrees for the shoot, and then it started to get a little cool. Um, and so... Uh, I, it it kind of chilled off a little bit by the time we were wrapped. But, uh, man... It was uh, it was good. We're still trying to figure out. We're still trying to figure out what the things we're doing here. We're still trying to figure out the format, but uh, but I think we got we got some good stuff. I think we got some good stuff. So that's coming up soon in the next few weeks on Scam Nation. And then we got a shoot over the weekend for Modern Rogue, and so you know it's a lot of. We're doing a lot of shoots and we're trying to get more videos out, but you know, we're, we're all trying to trying to give a little more than I think than I think we all got. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, you guys, will continue to enjoy this stuff. But today is night attack. Oh, I burned my tongue. Okay, can I? T- I'm gonna tell you this before we before I radio tease what's coming up on night attack. So I went I went uh, to Torchies for. A little bit of dinner before before the show, because this show goes long. It goes into the evening, and I get home, and I don't really want to eat. So I went, and I got... There's there's a great thing that I like at Torchy's. It's stupid, and I'm sure it's not great for you. Um, but it's like a... Um, uh, it's like a fried piece of chicken with, like a, with, with cheese sauce on it and some, you know, tomatoes and lettuce and stuff. It's really great. I love it. But uh, the one that they gave me, they uh, they had just pulled that thing out. So I take one big bite, take one big bite, and I burn my tongue on this one good big bite. I got a nice meaty bite, and I, and I burn the hell out of my tongue. And then I also got queso, so I was like, the uh, the is usually not too too spicy for me, but it was like, it was like, oh no, you're gonna you're gonna be feeling. We're gonna make you be feeling it. So I got I got just the tip of my tongue. It was a little burnt. Any, anyway. Whew. But but now I'm full. Now I'm full. And I had a margarita. And I had a margarita. I hadn't had a uh, margarita. But, but that's fine. We're gonna have a good show. We got a great show coming up for you today here on the Night Attack Show. We're gonna have Andrew Zarian from uh, GFQ. You know him from GFQ. You might know him from Matt Men or. Um, uh, 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 yeah, you might also know him from. Oh, I know what it's. Uh, it's uh, uh, they do a weekly tech. What the tech? From what the tech? Um, Andrew Zarian is going to be joining his on so many more shows. It's great. He's going to be on to join us, and we've got a new uh, game. Uh, this is. Uh, let me let me see if I can find the name of the person. So, uh, uh, so Yabs posted this in our Shiny Toys channel on the Discord, which is really what that channel's for. Is like ideas for bits or stuff that we can do in the pre-show or the post-show um uh so yabs posted this tweet from at veltman um about if you could guess a celebrity based off of the um the table of contents from their wikipedia page so we've got uh we'll be we'll, it'll be a fun like everyone versus bryce game <laughs> on that one but uh we're, that'll be that'll be pretty good i had just enough time to finish doing that after uh after 
I burned my tongue. So, that'll be good. I, I, I wonder how it'll go. Because so much of the time with the games, I try to bias because I know from a, from writing the games and, and sketching them out that obviously I know the answers. And so I think some of these, they just won't have any clue. Some of them, they, they definitely know. I think that we've got 11. I bet, I bet they'll get, there are at least three or four they will definitely get. I think they could get five or six. So we'll kind of figure out what that over under is to beat, to beat me, to beat me. So they'll, they'll all be playing against me. So that'll be coming up in the shoe. My goodness. Oh, it's Tuesday. Y'all, it's Tuesday. It's still Tuesday. Can you, can you even believe it? Because I, I kind of can't. I can't. I can't believe it. Uh, so I'm going through, I'm going through our uh, Very Funny and Pre-Show channel here on Discord and looking for some videos. If you guys ever have videos you want to share, that's a good place to put it. Because then I can see the preview of it and, and it stays there. So if people want to go back after the fact and, and check stuff out. Or if, uh, you know, if there's stuff that, you know, just kind of scrolls past, uh, you'll be able to be on the bleeding edge of good videos. All right. Let's take, in fact, let's do that. Let's take a look at a video right now. Here, here's, um, here's one from ICU post. Oh, shoot. I've got the music playing in this. Here we go. I'll turn it down there. Hey, there we go. Uh, I see you posted this in our very funny and pre-show chat. Uh, here we go. Skanking with the rude boy. When is this? Have we, it's 2010. Video kids do it yourself, video kid. Hi, welcome to Skanking with the Rude Boy. I'm Brandon, the crazy skanker guy from the shows. I know all of you guys saw me, have seen me at the shows skanking and wondered, how does he do it? Well, here's my ska instructional workout that'll have you skanking the pounds away. We're going to start the workout with some dub music. Dub is the more reggae style ska, ska music. Uh, okay. So he's like, uh, he's skanking. Okay, workout. I, this is... Yeah? Is that the case? Now we're gonna speed things up with some 90s style ska. I mean, skanking is a funny word. He's doing kind of a, a goofy looking thing. I don't, eh. All right, hey, cool. Cool skanking, bro. Cool skanking, bro. That's what I say is cool skanking, bro. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Let me close that out. Uh, uh, skanking. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, this was funny. This was um, a Demi, this was a Demi tweet. Uh, the new Disney princess. Marge Simpson, she's a Disney princess. Harry and Sally, both Disney princess. Paul Giamatti, he's a Disney princess. George Michael and Mavie, that's some Disney incest. Yeah, there you go. Love Demi. Love his stuff. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I... So I have been... Uh, I, I've been on TikTok for uh, for like a month now, and uh, it is a it is a time sink of a of a of an app. Like it's very it's 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 designed for you to just like keep you know finding new stuff. Uh, this is one of the I I wish there was an easy way for me to find all the things that I've liked and put it onto. I've been I've been asking people. If you know how to do that, an easy way for me to pull all of the things that I like into links so that we can show them on this on the show or, or on the pre-show, I would love that because there's some good stuff in here. But uh, I uh, I found I found this and I think this is pretty good. Here we go. EA Sports, it's in the game. Sucks. Do it. EA Sports. 
It's in the game. Better. EA Sports. It's in the game. Gangster. Gang it's pretty cool. It's, 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 you forget that, uh, that people, that people do this stuff. That people do that stuff. Uh, all right. Who, oh, who posted this? Uh, we had a couple people post this one. It's this pix. I've I've only seen this screen of it, like the beginning, like preview stuff, like the preview image. Um, here we go. I hold my beer while I recreate the Pixar intro. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's hot up here. I'll tell you what. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, is Twitter down? What's going on, Twitter? Twitter's acting up, y'all. All right, here's a here's a Russell thing. I don't know. I don't know Russell thing. So it's, I know that's a Russell guy, and it's a Russell thing. One more time! Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh my God! Oh my God! To brutality! Stop it! Oh my God! Too violent! Oh God! Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the cameraman, uh, uh, did his thing. He followed, he followed the action. I mean, that's what is, that's, this is job, man. That's, I, right, okay, yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's see, uh, okay, here's, here's something. Yeah, there's something on Reddit. Kid on like a Snapchat thing, like a bunny. Hmm. Eh. Eh. That's, that's uh, okay. I think it's just. I think it's just a kid has a. Uh, also withholding some knives. I cannot get Twitter to load right now, y'all. Twitter doesn't want to load. I got any network protocol errors. Hey, right, let's see. We got some people posting a few more things here. Um, hmm. JC Calhoun. Ah! The real great. Oh, wait. Let me let me get my boy on. Let me get my man's foe. It's Justin Robert Young. Oh yeah, baby. How's it going, Juice? Dude, living the dream. Yeah? And by living the dream, I mean doing my taxi. <laughs> well, you know, still good to do. You know, you have to do them. Folks, you got to do your taxes. You know, uh, I'm, I'm uh, hi, it's me, Justin Robert Young here <laughs> uh, to tell you, do your goddamn taxes. Uh, don't be a, don't be a, a tax cheat. Well, it's, some, sometimes it's not being about, a, about being a tax cheat, it's just... No, you're evading Uncle Sam, uh, Bryce. Well, and, not. And that's uh, not appropriate. You well, shouldn't be uh, so. stealing from the mouths of the poor and mm -hmm. uh, needy by not paying your fair share, sure. Bryce. Sure. So, okay. So, uh, yeah. how's how, otherwise? How's, ta okay, how's... Right. you Are you cheating the poor? Absolutely not. I am the poor, bitch. What? No. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying, if you're not paying your taxes, you're cheating the other <laughs> Well, sometimes. So, how else is your Tuesday going? <laughs> uh, yeah, go, go to 1-800-THEPOOR.COM. <laughs> you gotta seize the means of Bryce Duction. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it was, a, it was a weird day. I had a weird segment on TMS today. Yeah? How, because normally you come on, and normally you do talk politics and stuff, right? I do, and, uh, you know, I, I try to keep a little bit of a level head. Uh, sometimes on that show, it, it's Scott being upset about the 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 Twitter of the day, right? You know, okay. whatever. The the big thing, it's like, like, oh, like, did Donald Trump burp into a 
face of a child mm -hmm. that uh, survived the Holocaust? I don't know how you would have a child that survived the Holocaust. A child, a, a child, a former child survivor of the Holocaust. A child who survived the Holocaust only to fall into an ice flow and then be resuscitated uh, 80 years later? Uh, uh, oh my God, what a piece of shit. Uh, drag him. And uh, I will say, if he did do that, he's canceled. I He's done. Cancel him. He's Cancel done. the presidency. Uh, but so it'll be it'll be a lot of me saying like, uh, all right, well let's understand bleep blop bloop and like mm -hmm. like why are we paying attention to this when like we're not going to care about it in two days and we should be focusing on these other things. But a lot of it is me trying to at least give context uh, uh, and kind of try to bring what I view as other, you know, uh, uh, other factors that make the picture a little bit clearer, right? Sure. So this dude wrote an email. Uh, Into the uh, show. Asking, like, well, number one, uh, Justin's wrong for not, uh, for, for not letting you be angry. You should be angry about everything that you're angry about. Uh, but uh, ask him this for me. Like, is there any one thing that he does care about that he is that like, you know, he's he's willing to be mm -hmm. like, um, I don't know. I, I don't want to put words in his mouth because then it'll be like me. Then you'll get me. another email. But, I'm sure I've already talked about it 17 times. So <laughs> I, at this point, I'm, I'm picking a fight. But like. Yeah. Uh, but the larger thing is uh, uh, it really it bummed me out. It really kind of bummed me out because. Uh, the last thing I want to do is come off as unempathetic. Like, that's kind of like my whole baseline message to everything is that mm -hmm. we need more empathy. We need more. And 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 you know what? I, I think I need to go away from the word empathy. And I just th think we need. Well, I, I want to get to empathy, but I think the gateway drug is just understanding. Literally just baseline knowledge and familiarity, in my opinion, breeds empathy. We don't have that if to me, fear, division, hate, demagoguery, uh, 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 all is bred in let's just yell. And then when we're done yelling, we'll take a breath uh, and then find something new to yell about. There's no time for under, there's no time to change your mind. There's no time to understand anything else. But that doesn't mean that I personally don't care about things i care about everything i care about the world but like mm -hmm. nobody ever asks me like i'm always just the one that's reacting to the other stuff i, I I've, I've i've tweeted my phone number i have my dms are open i've, I've yelled <laughs> my my email address for 10 years mm -hmm. any i'm an open book i like I, how many times i've talked about every embarrassing thing that has ever happened in my life any direct question i am asked I tried to answer as as cleanly and clearly as possible. And uh, uh, beyond that, it's like, really, the only secrets that I keep are my friends. And I screw that up. <laughs> Plenty of times. Like, literally, ask me secrets about everybody else that I know that are public figures. And I'll probably screw up and tell you something I shouldn't. <laughs> like, I'm a real blabbermouth. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I... I don't, I don't know. Like, is it, do you think, w would you characterize it as a general misunderstanding of the world that leads to a lot of the, the things that you are reacting to? Do you think it's distraction-y sort of stuff? Because there's certainly stuff where it's like, okay, this is like certainly an oddity, but not really interesting. Or like, like uh, I think about, uh, you know, when... He, when those sports teams went to the White House and their big yeah. meals were like McDonald's, right? That's but that is bonkers. Every part of that is wild. That 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 was the end result of it. Twice, two times, two times on that. Um, yeah. But also, that's the extent about all you can do with it is to react. Sure. Yeah, and and like, look, I'm 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 here for all the spectacle. Like, that's ninety percent of what my political brand is is pointing out the spectacle of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, really, with that, it's like, okay, well, it's a publicity stunt. That's that was literally that dude's job. Yeah. Pre current president uh, of the United States, his previous job was 
generating publicity. Being a TV guy. So, like, here's my two thoughts. Number one, here's a publicity stunt. I think we can all agree this is made for television. That's why he brought in the cameras posing behind this thing that he did. Uh, that's why they published all the data on exactly how much was purchased. So now, in my mind, we have two options. Either we mm -hmm. talk about it or we don't talk about it. And I can tell you which one he wants. So if what you want to do is damage him <laughs> or, or, or not give him what he wants, then what I'm saying is we can talk about literally anything else. If you want to talk about it, I'm here to talk about who ate the fish fillet and uh, who who ate the Big Mac and how and whether or not they should have dipped the pizza in the ranch dressing. Which like should've. I'm here for all that, but like that that conversation mm -hmm. which we did have on the show was was that where it's like, okay, cool. Now, to me, I the one thing I don't get is let's do 45 minutes on what a piece of trash that guy is for putting out the McDonald's for the for the uh, for the uh, college football kids when literally that's like he made a career built buildings and put out a decade's worth of television programming based on the idea that all press is good press right like yeah that's he's better at that than anybody bitching about him there's no challenging him there. That's that is like trying to run a race against Usain Bolt. Like that's 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 just it's he what he has done very successfully. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Sure. Um well you know, um Yeah man. I, my, lar my, my my larger thing was just I didn't want to I, I it bummed me out that I came off as unfeeling. Mm -hmm. That was that was what cut uh, uh, was that was that that the idea of the context came off as unemotional or unfeeling or that I didn't care about all the stuff when I do. I care about all I, I yeah. talk about it for hours every day. You know, I, I think part of what it is. Um, and at this point, I am trying I am describing a hypothetical person. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I think that stuff is very easy for people to latch on to versus you know longer news narratives longer stories right it is it is it's easier to kind of be hit by the you know one or two day pop little things yeah. like that and uh uh in a separate sentence i also think like emotional outlet is good right like look sure. go get mad you should get mad about about uh, uh, literally anything there, there are things that you should get mad about there are things you should be sad about uh, uh, and you know, uh, productivity over emotions uh, is a way to like <laughs> have a brain aneurysm. I'm, I'm all for it. Look, I'm cool to get mad. Literally, everything that has come up to this point is literally just people being mad, people being mad, people being mad, people being mad, and then they like zip zap sop it over to me, and I'm like, hey, what do we think about it? Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> so it's just it's it's just it's tough, you know. I think it's tough to ask. It's it's tough for people to follow some of the larger, more egregious things, some of the actual real problems. Um, and that's the stuff that kind of needs to be like digested well, and hammered home. Of like, hey, this is how this started. Here's what yeah. what just happened. So it's not like. You know, here's some weird small detail about ice that you kind of don't have context for if you're not if you don't know any of the fucking ice shit. Yeah, and it's like it's like it, it, to me, and this is the thing that wound up coming up because he cited it in the email. He's like, mm -hmm. like, oh, is there anything like kids getting separated from their parents that Justin cares about? And I'm like, I care about like if you remember that segment. That segment was me saying, uh, this is Donald Trump's administration. Uh, enforcing laws that are on the books mm -hmm. that were not being enforced in the same way before, right? Now, I don't think that it takes away from how whatever you think about that situation yeah. to also say these were laws on the books. Like, that, that these laws, because I think if we really care, if we really want to have a fuller idea of not just saying, hey, boo this guy who's in office, but rather, 
can we not do this? Do If we understand this to be cruel, mm -hmm. how can we make it stop? Then we need to understand where it came from. Mm -hmm. So I view that as saying like, hey, these were laws that existed before Donald Trump as saying, let's get a fuller pick while we're all paying attention. Sure. Let's get a fuller picture so we know how to handle it. I'm not into the like, but he did it. So the, the other guy doing it isn't as bad. No, no, no. Let's understand that it's that it's a bad thing. Sure. And let's understand where it came from so we can do something about it. Yeah. Well, uh, Mag Hat's in the mail, Justin. So. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, congratulations. This is now the trilogy of me <laughs> using Twitch to talk about this exact same email. <laughs> Day, so I'm done talking about yeah, it. Yeah, but we didn't say his name, so it's not harassment. Uh, yeah. Did you see all the Google stuff today at a GDC, the Game Developers Conference? You know, I caught a little bit of it. Uh, uh, the new, so Stadia. it's a terrible name. Stadia. It's the right? worst fucking name. It's the most Google. F the the whole thing is the most Google ass thing. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, this is me not knowing shit about ass when it comes to video games, but uh, in my limited knowledge base, uh, streaming games has yet to ever really take off, right? Like, you can right. download, downloading games certainly has become the norm. Digital distribution, yeah. Games, streaming games has always proved proven problematic. This has been historically a... A losing uh, battle for Google because mm -hmm. Google always assumes that everybody is living in the Google headquarters uh, and has a, a, a you know a symmetrical gigabit Wi-Fi uh, everywhere they go. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it, it but you have to deal with physics. I mean, there's literally the physics of sending information to these various data, you know, CDNs, yeah. and just even processing that data back. Like, I think. I was thinking a lot about this, and I was tweeting during the live GDC conference, which I don't know who it is that's writing the scripts at Google's presentations. They are always the most, like, kludgy, out-of-touch stuff. I mean, this is the this is the keynote conference, uh, the keynote uh, presentation for GDC, a game developer's conference. Uh, and it was like... We were, we when, here at Google, when we were thinking of games, we thought back to the long history of gaming. And it's like, photo, it's like, it's Sumie pictures of, of, of feudal Japanese people playing fucking backgammon and like, uh, car, like, stick and ball bullshit, right? Like, the stuff that anybody who is dealing with video games doesn't, it's like the, the Webster's Dictionary definition of gaming, right? Yeah. Webster's defines games as <laughs> recreation, and yeah. uh, and and so that that was very much the tone of it. It was it, it felt very much like Sundar Pichai being like, yeah, we had the largest CDN in the world. We have centers literally everywhere. Uh, so this is how big our dick is. And now here's the guy from Doom. And yeah. um, you know, at the end of the day, you. On, on you know the issue of latency or, or connection you have to you are, are saying like you have to you're competing with perfect you know hey Brian yeah uh, you're you're competing Yo. with perfect right my box I mean you know despite outside of like frame rate stuff is gonna be sending a signal to my TV uh, yeah. you know so uh, you, you have to be competing with perfect and also like not talking about any consumer stuff really feels short-sighted only because I don't get why it's like do a box and own like look in my in my mind with video games you either mm -hmm. are playing in the console game right which now I, I actually kind of thought when I saw that Google was announcing something and that it was like I, I didn't know it was anything beyond mobile but seeing oh. that it was like a console kind of thing I'm like you know now like a company like Google could kind of like uh, th this isn't this isn't the old days of uh, uh, all these all these boxes get iterated on once a year now. Like the idea that you are like, like Xbox went from a four year cycle to a like, hey, we're going to do slightly better versions of it. We'll do we'll do big uh, uh, refreshes. But I wouldn't be shocked if Google came out and said, hey, look, we're going to put out a box. 
and we're going to see how it does, and then we're going to put out another box and another box and another box. We're Google. We have infinite money. Sure. Uh, well, uh, they certainly have the means to do so, but I think they know that they can come second to market uh, with, with uh, like, cutting all of that out of the equation because no one wants to make boxes. No one wants to make hardware because that is expensive uh, when you can say, we already have the we already have the server. We'll own the boxes. You just buy the game and stream it to us. We're talking or, about the Google Yeah, Yeah, yeah. What is the stated niche that they're hoping to swoop in and be first to? Well, uh, or, or what is the unmet need in the universe that they're finally here to solve? The future. Well, it's <laughs> so part of it is like instant access to games rather than waiting to download these, you know, dozens of gigabytes of things. Yeah, for, that, that feels like a 20 minutes from now it'll be solved thing. Uh, and, and um, you know, part of it is like uh, because it's using Google's CDNs that they have much more processing power than any box you can buy today, which will be wrong in, in a year. They At least the number that they were saying that they were comparing to will be wrong when the new boxes are out next year for PlayStation and, and Microsoft. Um, so the idea of like, okay, well we can put multiple GPUs together and give you better looking, uh, better looking games, um, and and uh, pr you know future proofing and scaling up to being able to send out 4K and 8K streams in the future. So that it's in a similar way that the PC market is sort of kind of open ended on on hardware stuff, right? There's a, there's kind of a rolling hardware um, uh, top of the line, you know? Um, so, so those are, those are kind of, but, th but that's my issue with the presentation is like, it wasn't a lot of consumer based stuff. Consumer based stuff is changing the, the platform to consumer uh, relationship, not just like, Oh, I have a controller and I can play this on my TV and I don't need to own a $300 box because people are okay with owning $300 boxes. But, you know, you look at Microsoft, Microsoft is going to have one of these services in the next 18 months. We know that they're going to have one. PlayStation already has one. Uh, and both of those are, uh, the PlayStation one is a subscription service. Right. And Microsoft already has a subscription service. I know this because I am now up to $280 for Red Dead Redemption. Oh, Jesus. I still haven't unsubscribed and I really <laughs> intend to do it any minute now. One day you'll do that. But uh, that, uh, but, but that's the thing, right? Those are at least new economic models for handling it. Like, and as a consumer, like if you say, okay, well, I'm not going to own these games. I'm not going to own a box. So at least you can financially incentivize me to being a part of a ecosystem, a pool of games or something. Right. All of the Google, the, the very little that Google talked made it sound like you would just be paying a la carte prices for games. Now, games that you can't own. And was, probably was this one of the marquee online. things they were spotlighting during the talk or, or this was their keynote? This was the presentation. Oh dear. Thing. The thing. And now it's a developer and conference. Developer. They're talking oh, right. to developers. They're trying to get developers to buy into the system, but I don't know. You already have a, an issue of I, physics. I, it's I, an issue of to, physics. To me, there's three exciting fronts of video games. Triple mm. A. Sure. The, the console or pc app store and i think that those are more increasingly merging than they ever have sure. and then mobile if you're not playing in one of those three th those are the places where people are very excited about games right now and they're very different and they re require very different skill sets triple a requires the relationships uh the app store model requires the curation mobile requires a different kind of curation and a different kind of hardware Th uh, think about the exact same conundrum from the user perspective like mm -hmm. where do you have time to do things if where are you the physical user are you in your living room looking at a television with a console thing in hand then odds are you're going to want a triple a whatever is biggest you know sure. black ops 12 or whatever uh, uh are you pooping then you probably want a mobile literally game or anything whatever. on your phone yeah uh, yeah exactly um and that's, I, I and don't. That's I don't a, know what. Like, like when? Right. When am I? When am I doing whatever this is? That that that's a serious issue because th they sell this as like we're Google, right? We have all, all the user engagement about video games is on on YouTube because you know that's the biggest thing on YouTube and that's the thing that people spend the most time doing is watching fucking let's plays and shit. Right. So you know, at some point, someone took a piece of string between YouTube and and the streaming service and decided. This is a four quadrant thing when really it doesn't, right? If you're trying to be either financially they, they remove YouTube gaming, the string that was there for YouTube gaming. <laughs> and then they said, new string. Now we'll make games or no, maybe we'll not. We'll, we'll when they will make games. games. I, guess, I guess here's here's the niche, Brian. Uh, people who don't want to buy a new console, but want to play a game in 4K. 
That's a, that is a, oh boy. You got an eye for quality and you care about it, mm-hmm. but you don't want to shell out the bucks. Uh, well, you know, and, and you don't yeah. mind being a half second behind everybody in whatever <laughs> whatever multiplayer game you're playing. Ugh. Yeah, you know, I, I like the idea of it. I I was part of the Project Stream beta that they did last year. I spent a few hours with the Assassin's Creed game. And the thing about playing that Assassin's Creed game through it, it, it seemed fine, but the issue is, like, that's not a precise game, right? That's basically a third-person MOBA game at, the, at some point, right? You're just clicking the attack button and you've got buffs and stuff. Um, and, you know, they had uh, someone from id up talking about how the new Doom game will be on uh, Google Stadia, Project Stadia, whatever. And it hasn't bear not bear, it hasn't borne out of any of any of the previous tests of, of these streaming games that you can get that accuracy. I mean, or we've been seeing this latency. shit eight years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, and it always felt soupy. It never didn't feel soupy. And it feels, it feels, I'll say it feels better, but I don't think it felt perfect. I wouldn't want to play, you know, people are saying, like, I wouldn't want to play Apex or Overwatch through it. I wouldn't play it. I, I tried playing uh, Saints Row on the PlayStation Now service a couple weeks back, and it was impossible. Driving in that game was impossible. Shooting uh, was impossible. ICU brings up a good counterpoint. Sure. Uh, he says, uh, uh, this is the definition of convenience trumping fidelity. Uh, but did they mention what's... did they mention prices or no. or ubiquity or because because so, if it's convenient the most convenient mm-hmm. thing is the thing that's already in your pocket right and so they did talk about uh, their the their marketing was like okay it's going to be on every screen in your house and which mostly means Chromecasts Pixel books uh, Android uh, Android phones and stuff devices uh, yeah your refrigerator um, and and the other big part is this controller right this controller. Uh, is actually a Wi-Fi controller. So rather than connecting the controller to your TV or your phone, the controller actually sends inputs direct over Wi-Fi to the CDN, which I think is clever. It skips the whole processing and having another box run it. Uh, but then that means you have to buy this controller. I'll tell you what. Are you ready? Now, I don't think they're doing this. Okay. And, I, and there are sincere logistical problems with it. Mm-hmm. But if you wanted a version of this that instantly I would be on board with, is like, congratulations, you're gonna buy this $30 controller, you're gonna buy a $30 something to hook it up to your television. Yeah. Uh, you now have a PS4, the latest PS4, and the latest Xbox, and the latest PC, and the latest everything. Like, um, if, if, if they sold it as a conduit to, you know, leased space on all platforms, all games, all everythings. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think that's, that is their Valhalla. That that is where I think they want to work to is is that mind share of why would I play it on this super expensive dinosaur box mm-hmm. when I have 4K streaming uh, uh, on this cheaper service that I'm already paying for and I already have a smart TV. But this has been Google's problem. We were talking about it on weird things on Monday. Uh, why did Google not just headshot Dropbox when they had all the servers back in the day? Because they were convinced that the future was fully internet connected and nobody would ever want to store files. All files would be created once and then downloaded from a central repository uh, uh, forevermore. Nobody would ever need to upload or transfer files. Everything would be downloaded. And that's why the new OS is Chrome, right? That's what they wanted to do. And it took them forever to do Google Drive because that was the top down philosophy. No one does anything that involves any of this kind of stuff. But the, the the fatal flaw has and always will be for Google that they believe the future is so much closer mm-hmm. than it is for so much of the country. And by uh, not having the consumer element, I mean, I, I agree with you, Brian, right? Like if they said, hey, we'll make a partnership or we will make it, we will make a service that is consumer friendly as also going to upend the financial relationship here, then you can get people interested. But if it's like, I'm not going to pay $60 for Assassin's Creed on your service. I'm just going to go buy it over here where I don't have to deal with like network latency. Right. You know, that is, it's, it's missing. Uh, and I get, you know, it's a developer conference. They don't have those relationships. They are opening up all that stuff today. Uh, but they're, they're also launching it this year. And, and in fact, to build the relationships, they need to be able to say that they have the developers on board. Right. So it's like, you know, it's an audition. Yeah, and but all, like they're they're also launching a first-party studio, um, headed by a former uh, Ubisoft 
uh, I don't know if she was a VP or uh, she she led during some of the Assassin's Creeds and Watch Dogs and stuff. So she she has uh, you know chops to to run a studio, but also it's it's very similar. It reminds me a lot of Amazon, right? Amazon has a gaming studio, and the only thing that they did is buy Crisis the Crisis Engine and sell it to people who aren't using it. Which, I mean, for what it's worth, that seems to have worked out pretty well. Yeah. See, but, <laughs> but, but Amazon games, like, you, like you playing any Amazon developed games? Sure. You know, I, that that's that's all, all I'm right. saying. Is. Here's like this is one of those uh, 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 what you buy into yeah. versus what it actually is. Like what you buy into is exactly what Brian said. What if every AAA title, every PC title, every little indie game now all of a sudden was on every device streamed in 4K? And yeah, maybe it gave up a little bit, but you want to know what? For that convenience, for that price point, it is a no-brainer. You might even buy a console and then also have this just to make sure that you're never missing anything out. Mm -hmm. What it actually is, go ahead and look up the top five most hated companies in America. Because those are all the companies now in between you and this service. Comcast, AT&T, Verizon... They all now control the user experience for that service. And in when, hey, look, when they're good, they're good. When they're bad, they suck ass. And if they notice that, oh, wow, people are using a lot of data streaming 4K games to uh, 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 six devices at once, what do you think they're going to do? Probably step on your data plan or make it more expensive or do something right. other, something else stupid. Because that's what they do. It's their nature. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing is Google knows firsthand that the telecom infrastructure in America sucks and there is not a lot of competition out there. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I am a firm believer that, that 5G is the real deal. Like, like it's going to be... Uh, I mean, in, I bet it would be In the great. span of five years, ten years, it's going to be like a snap of the fingers and suddenly it's all the data you can eat magically everywhere. I, I I think that I don't I still don't see that there's the pressure there from other companies to to loosen up those data caps, but I think that's just a disagreement. Point. I mean, but, but but yeah, but even then, like data caps have already pretty much gone away. Uh, no, uh, no, I mean, I mean uh, effectively, uh, like when's the last time you ran into one? I don't because I live in Austin, which was a Google there's, Fiber there's, city. There's, but there's, I I I don't think that they are the pervasive threat that they were were projected to five be or ten, five or ago. ten years ago. But uh, uh, they still exist in small markets. They still exist in places where tel telcos can uh, uh, fuck the consumer, which is like everywhere they can, they will. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. th this thing pro proved so toxic that they had to let it go as like the coming future. But certainly anywhere that is uh, hard to get to or hard to lay wire or you have no other choice because they've paid off the local uh, government to to protect their monopoly like you're fucked yeah. uh correct and 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 specifically i the, part of the reason i'm optimistic about 5g is that the cost to do that upgrade will be so much less than rolling miles and miles of you know glass tubes or copper tubes or whatever flavor tubes you want but instead it's like you know you just replace a bunch of antennas which is something they do automatically anyway well they have to build more antennas they, they, they all might be backdoored to china but uh, uh we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it that too that too so i don't know it's a it, it's just a weird thing i like i know google has the power to do an okay version of this but this is this is a this is someone coming up and saying we're going to be number 4 after Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, and when this is the offering, it feels like I don't even know. This is this feels like a company who has no business doing this, uh, trying to sell I a thing like, that they're like, not if, into if, yet. If they had the nuts, they would have demoed something or had something that was like out wide, and the story today would have been, "Oh my God, I tried this, and it's the future." Yeah, like like that. That's that's like they would have had. 18 people in 18 different markets, uh, uh, all with varying different internet connectivities, all on different uh, uh, providers, all being all playing one game of fucking Overwatch and having the time of their lives. So, during the presentation, did they did they? It sounds like they pitched it entirely as so. Make your new game on our platform. It'll be around. We promise. 
Um, I mean, they were courting developers, right? And so right. they, you know, a lot of what they talked about was we already have integration with a lot of the very big middleware that you are already using. We have Unity support. We have Havoc support. Uh, they had uh, someone from id come out about uh, saying the new Doom Doom Eternal or whatever the new Doom game coming out this year or next uh, will be on this Stadia service. Um, they didn't show it, uh, which uh, I think ob for obvious reasons. Um, and so, yeah, there will be developer work to port those games and you know, if the idea, uh, it, uh, my, my other issue on the developer side is that what the development com community seems to trend towards when it comes to hardware is towards the lowest common denominator. What is something that all the consoles do and we will work on those things. That's, that's how they set, you know, quality and fidelity issues. That's how they handle features and things. Uh, anything that's not built in that the other consoles don't have, probably not going to spend a lot of time doing it. And so, uh, you know, the idea of like, okay, well, now we're going to make 8K resolution textures and start building out tech to handle this multi-GPU thing as a baseline feels, I don't, I don't know. I, so I, I, let, let me throw just a totally speculative curveball. What if their play is not to replace any of the consoles right now, but instead they're looking forward to VR because VR is processor intensive and the, the, barrier to entry is much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. What if they are pre-solving that problem so that all of a sudden, like you don't mind that little bit of lag. You can exist in a soupy world because it's super high def, 8K in each eye, uh, and, and mm -hmm. running on a system you could never afford for, and would never spend the money for in mm -hmm. your own place, but now it's all being streamed. Uh, I guess I've never had the experience of, of lag in VR. Yeah, uh, uh, Th Thrumwald does point out that uh, lag in VR is is a motion sickness uh, uh, trigger, uh, which is which is true. I mean, that's that's what kind of separated something like the Vive running on the specs that it uh, uh, runs on, and and that is something that can be triggered. Although I don't know exactly how much that might be mitigated if the resolution is super high and you are Possibly. buying into the world visually uh, on on a higher level, it might look more surrealistic but not quite as motion sicky mm -hmm. uh so no i think look there is a world in which this is a good idea like like there's there's nothing that google does that isn't a good idea i think it's a good idea the question is whether or not it's an idea that will be here by the time that google makes a decision on whether or not this is worth it because imagine you're a developer in that audience and they're saying please uh, put together a three-year cycle where you're developing your uh, a, a big game that you really, really want to have uh, uh, money and resources tied into that the future of your company will be tied to. And uh, as you're looking to email uh, one of your co-workers co uh, about it, uh, you have the Google will be uh, depreciating inbox at the end of the month. Please uh, leave this thing that we told you to come join. Like... That's the problem with Google. They, they've done it enough times that they deserve that reputation that it, they might just shut it down because it's not AdWords. Yeah. The only thing that we know for sure Google will be doing in five years is AdWords and 10 years will be AdWords. I, I, I do think, you know, if the idea is that they're going to sell you games, I think one of the things they would have to do, um, even if they don't come out on front street and say it because they would not want to for, for this exact reason, is they would have to give you some sort of they would have to make some sort of PC market for the game for the Google Play Store, where if I buy your game from Google, then I can download it offline through the Google Play Store or stream it through the Stadia thing. I can um, like the keeping the existing sixty dollar relationship and not even giving me ownership and and saying trust Google to, to let me own it. That's that feels like another blind spot. So. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the video game guy, but I do think that for the amount of time and effort that you spend with a game, uh, putting down the money seems like a, uh, a a fair price to pay for what you are getting and your ability to have it and have it unmolested by hackers or a changing uh, element of it or something that's you know uh, unfixed that you don't want fixed. Like, I don't know. Oh, my phone broke. Yeah.
Uh, uh, it's the top of the hour. If you guys need a break before yeah. we get going, I gotta go get a, a thing. Sure. He's gonna go get a thing and another thing. Uh, you need a you need a break, Justin. Okay. Uh, I'll bullshit for a little bit and okay. I'll I'll go tag out when Brian comes back in. My uh my phone. This is the second time my phone is just like, out and out died. Crazy. My mom sent me. This is the first time that I've ever gotten an email from my mom that I felt was like, this is an old person email. Okay. I, I, Here, keep I, the hard color. But mom sent me an email that said, "Hey, I'm sorry that you didn't. I didn't pick up the phone when you called. But uh, my phone doesn't ring anymore." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, and then she said afterward, "I need a new phone." <laughs> and I'm like, you know, look, I, I I I have pity for my mom because certainly compared to my grandma. Phones were about the same when my grandma was like a, an old lady that yeah. she was. Yeah. She was about a young woman. Like it was still pick up a thing, talk to a person. You have to do some kind of hooba joob to get it to uh, to somebody. But now phones are portable computers. There's all sorts of different things. Complicated. They got buttons. And you know she might have accidentally set some do not disturb infinity thing that that uh that, that proved that proved for it but yeah that was uh that was yeah. the first time i've ever gotten an email from my mom and i'm like oh you're old now <laughs> <laughs> have some more respect for your mom justin put some respect on her name oh i like i'm i'm, I'm here I, I i'm here to help her fix her fucking phone <laughs> i cracked my phone i i go caseless on my phone almost all the time and usually I'm I end up okay with that, but uh, uh, I then had it crack two different times in the span of about a week, uh, and so that I mean, it, thankfully it's only on the back, right? It's like uh, uh, yeah, there's some small you can kind of see it there. There's some small you don't cracks have the front. No, not on the front. The front's fine. Um, so if I ever get a case, whatever, it's like nothing. But. Uh, it was just a I, bummer. The case, man, I, I drink too much to not have a case. Like, uh, I, I, like that's that's an element of my lifestyle I'm not willing to give up uh, for the sake of a pristine phone. Like, I gotta have a case. Uh, it all the time. See, I got that insurance on my phone though. I'd rather like run the risk, and then if something comes up, pay the fifty bucks when it becomes unusable. Oh, is that it, to, to fix the fix a cracked phone? Or uh, whatever it is, right? Like either through T-Mobile or fucking through Apple. That's my, that that is, uh, and this is certainly a, a bit of a WPR situation, but like uh, I do have a philosophy that you should treat yourself. The, the psychic injury of looking at a cracked phone, <laughs> I think is emotionally damaging. Ah, it's, yeah, especially no, 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 if you... no, the, the the back's fine. The back's yeah, fine. the back's so fine. Up, but back's when you, fine. if you, I'm, I'm talking about like you're looking at it and then you realize you have like that one moment when you're dragging your finger across it that you're like, man, my finger oh, feels itchy. I feel it, yeah, yeah. That's that is. Yes. I'm just saying it, it is it, it psychically erodes you. It is it is like Chinese water torture. It is it is the new way that I, I feel like there is ego depletion going on every time you look at a cracked phone. Mm -hmm. Like I, it, like even like mythologically, it's like looking at your cracked reflection. It's like you're looking at your imperfect self at all times. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I know. But I that that's what I've been feeling the past like week and a half with this, especially because it was stupid stuff that I'm pretty sure is what cracked it. Like, um, I threw my phone and I meant to throw it at the couch and I shorted it and I hit the coffee table and I think that was one of the small ones. And then the other one is it fell out of my jacket getting out of the car. It fell out onto the parking lot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, and that's one of those like slow motion moments where you're like, no. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't uh, even like, he, oh, yeah, anyway. This is something that actually I think you will very much appreciate. Oh, sure. friend of mine sent me a uh, tutorial for how to set up a home karaoke. <laughs> yeah? And I think you could probably do it. 
like his the the thing he sent me was basically just using a wireless mic setup and either a smart TV or Chromecast and then a sound bar. Mm-hmm. But I think you could do it with uh like one of those little mobile Behringer monitors for like you could probably do it for under five hundred. Okay. That's that's not too crazy. I know there's there's got to be a program or something. I've I've seen enough videos of people doing some sort of karaoke type thing in their homes that uh, is like uh, uh, a, just a consumer now product. YouTube has replaced the idea for software. Like sure. there's no need for software. Everything's up on YouTube. You can find better shit than you would find on any kind of software on YouTube. So there's like no point in even fucking around with it. Yeah. Uh but now that I was like, like, he actually got me thinking where it's like, man, you want to know what? Like, you really just would need a decent, uh, a decent mic setup, and then either a sound bar or a little monitor, and you're good to go because you don't got to fill a lot of space, right? Not like you're, right? Like, get a, a, a an underpowered speaker, right? Uh, uh, and still have it fill your room just singing. Yeah. Uh, is it is it better than? I mean, because they even have like little karaoke machines. You could probably hook a YouTube thing or a phone into that, even. Yeah, I guess that's the thing is that this is basically saying that right now the solution of the karaoke machine is really is fairly unnecessary in mm. how easy mobile mics are okay. and uh, uh, how plugged in smart TVs are for YouTube or how cheap Chromecasts are. Mm. That it's like there's really no. There's no need for an, for anything else that's not off the rack. Like like the entire concept of karaoke is now totally piecable together through off the rack stuff, which I had never really thought about because always like part of the charm of going to one of those karaoke rooms is dealing with the fucked up like their whole you system. Know, a, you know, fell off the back of a yakuza truck <laughs> uh, 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 software. Mm-hmm. I never really thought of YouTube, and then like you, I was watching this tutorial, and the dude's like, yeah, literally all that shit that's on there somebody's uploaded and you could even curate better all your favorite songs into mm. stuff like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Kirby. Welcome back. Yo, 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 yo. Whew. Are you tired? I'm feeling tired. I'm, I'm already a little exhausted from the day. It's a big day. Yeah. I, I told people a little bit about it earlier. Um, Hey, so along that line, um, uh-huh. I know we were talking three tomorrow. But it sounded PM, like yeah. CJ and Gus were uh, interested in coming down at lunch. So I don't know if we want to start a little bit earlier tomorrow, but I don't know if that 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 seems like an after the show question I should ask you. Yeah. Ask me after the show, because yeah. then we also need to let the other people involved know ASAP. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you know, good. How are you? Oh, I'm sad. My phone is doing, uh, my my, my phone has entered. It needs to be babysat if it's going to charge. Like, you have to, you have to, um, you can plug the thing in Uh and it'll say, oh, I'm charging, psych, and then stop. And then you have to, you have to, you can, with your fingers, tilt it up. Sure. And then it's like, I'm charging as long as you hold me in that position. Is it a, have you tried a different cord? Uh, yeah, a uh, uh, number uh. of different courts. I mean, some work better than others, but, but like, you know, uh, at this point, it means you got to get wireless cords. charging. Oh, you know what? Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't, why don't I just do that? Just get a pat just get mats. Okay. All right. I'll buy some mats. There you go. End of segment. I, I, uh, uh, I, I, I thought there was something else. <laughs> <laughs> there, the only, the only issue with the, the mats is they kind of limit how much you can use your phone because it kind of has to be in contact and they can, they charge a little slower. Yeah, but 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 like overnight at least, you know, like, like yeah, yeah. Uh, see, I uh, we went full mat, me and Ash. Oh, really? We, yeah, yeah. We don't have uh, we don't have cords. We just drop it on the mat. Which like every once in a while, true story. You wake up and you didn't put it on the mat right. And oh, you're fucking, yeah. yeah. See, I use my phone in bed, so I I always have to wire up because I never, I'm never gonna be good about putting it on the thing. Yeah. Uh, but I, but on my desk I keep one, and and. It helps keep my phone out of my hands because it has to be like a foot and a half away. So yeah, uh, and you can get some good. You can you can get some okay ones for like twenty bucks. Yeah, 
So. Yeah, we we got some random off the rack stuff. Like the Apple never even came out, but they're like, <laughs> yeah, they're off. still waiting on the power mat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait uh, wasn't that like a major feature that they were touting? Like, like, oh, well, you could do chi, no, but it, but like I the real it, shit's yeah. gonna be ours. It, it, yeah, they haven't said anything about it. It's supposed to be nice, but I th- I think the thing that they heard or the rumor that came out was that they still couldn't figure out all the engineering shit and getting all the coils because it's like multiple units and it's mm. not in one specific position. Oh, that's right. You were going to be able to throw like all your garbage on, on, a, on a magic you, mat. Basically, yeah. yeah. Hey, this fucking garbage. Get it out of here. <laughs> and you throw it on a mat and then it becomes better. And you're like, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, wow, these wow. are great bobbles. Yeah. Okay, Spider Bite. Before we get started, Spider Bite's been on this Shane Dawson thing that I don't even know who Shane Dawson is. But just wait, do you really not know who Shane Dawson is? I don't think I know who Shane Dawson is. Shane Dawson fucked his cat. I mean, I know he he fucked his cat. He fucked his cat. Uh, please explain. So, okay, all right. So, so cats we... are these furry little creatures. <laughs> yeah, they're Go very, on. very popular. They're okay, the... but 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 like uh. Uh, more importantly, does anything weird happen with cats? Because if anything weird happens, I need like seven notifications well in advance. So- yeah. So they're so they're, uh, they're all over the place, man, and they're yeah, coughing up hairballs. Uh, uh, but Shane Dawson apparently said on a podcast that he fucked it and he came on it. Uh, uh, but he said that was a joke, and so all of Twitter stopped yesterday, <laughs> so we could uh, joke about how funny it is that. Shane Dawson fucked his cat. And I, yeah, I had not seen the podcast. I, I think if he had not said anything, I would not have known about this. But the the fucking tweet, I didn't fuck my cat, I didn't come on my cat, is the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen. And, and also, then, uh, would, wouldn't the right move be to be like, yeah, man, I love fucking cats. I'm coming for your cat next. Yes. Uh, C-U-M-M-I-N apostrophe. I'm coming for your cat <laughs> next. <laughs> Uh, it's me, cat rapist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my new character, uh, the 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 meowler. <laughs> <laughs> After my cat, we want the gold sucker. We coming on you, kitty. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that cat enjoying that dick. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, Justin, it sounds like I'm ducking you out uh, here and again. Uh, do you want to try goosing it a little bit? Or just try oh. talking over each other? Sure. Yeah, like I'm talking about you. I'm talking over you right now. I'm pretty sure I'm – yeah, I think you're being ducked the whole time I'm talking. I'm talking I'm talking nonstop, so it sounds like – Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey. Yeah. Man, it is it is kind of a bummer that 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 the only setting Skype wants to let through is – Sounding like you're clearly screaming. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. whatevs. Whatevs. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Bri. We'll get him yet, Ted Skype. Yeah. All Son right. of a bitch. You guys ready to do a show? Yeah. I think so. 